Go ahead. Okay. Um, I had spoken to Matthew a couple of years ago, and at the time, last I'd, year, I think, right? Uh, no, I don't think we saw each other last year. If it was You're last, right, it was two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Um, and at the time, I had dismissed him. We had had a long conversation about. Um, the Gospels. He just kept telling me, read the Gospel of John. Yeah. Um, and at the time I had dismissed it, but later in that, in the following year, I had on my own account uh, read the Gospel of Matthew, and it was like uh, just a light switch had been flipped. I couldn't, I couldn't Put go about my life the way I had for 20 years, and I'm now. Um, mostly finished with the Old Testament and working my way through the rest of the New Testament and I get baptized in March. So that <laughs> is <the> unbelievably <laughs> exciting to hear that testimony. Unbelievably exciting. Praise God, brothers and sisters. I've got some incredible news. Just the joy of the Lord is coming out right now because I have, I just saw some incredible fruit. Some just absolutely incredible fruit that I've just got to share with you guys. So about a year and a half ago, or two years, I was out here at University of Washington. Just a random day. I was coming out here every week, getting people, giving me the middle finger, cursing at me, hating everything I had to say, you know, calling me a loser. You know, you name it. You name it. And I was out here preaching the word reading the Bible and this girl came up to me named Heidi and I don't I don't know if she was a humanist I don't know I think she was atheist and we just had the longest conversation I, I it was over an hour we were going over everything the origin of life the beginning of the universe evolution, you name it. We, we, we must have hit every subject. She had so many questions and I just, it was, I was out there, I think it was spring or summer. It was kind of hot and whatever, but I just stood there and, and we, we just, I shared the gospel, Jesus. And I remember she was following me back, you know, across the campus just all these questions so many questions and I was trying to give her the right answers and before I left I said Heidi do me one favor before you make a decision about whether or not to reject Christ promise me you'll do one thing read the Gospel of John it's 21 chapters just read the Gospel of John that was the last thing I said to her Read the Gospel of John. Well, today I'm out preaching. This is a year and a half later, 18 months later, almost two years. Today I'm preaching. This is October 12th. And Heidi comes up to me again. And I could tell it was Heidi. I remembered her face. And she said, guess what? I said, what? She said, I read the Gospel of John. But not only did I read the Gospel of John, I'm reading the Gospel of Matthew. And I'm also getting baptized next week because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer. I'm saved. I mean, I just, brothers and sisters, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. That was all God opening up the heart of this young woman. Just like he opened up Lydia's heart. <laughs> I didn't do anything. And I don't, I don't even want to put this video out to, to, to take credit for helping Heidi get saved. That's not what this is about. I mean, this is a testament to just being faithful to the gospel. Everybody, everybody says, oh, street preaching never works. Campus preaching never works. You're not getting enough people saved that way. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, brothers and sisters, it works. It just doesn't work the way you think it does. It works. It doesn't work the way you think it does. See, it took 18 months. 
for her to come to Jesus Christ. 18 months? She didn't get saved that day. She didn't fall on her knees and repent. She didn't have a revival right there on Red Square. But God was dealing with her heart and showing her the way with patience, with grace. So it's just incredible, uh, you know, testament. Heidi, you're probably going to watch this too. Praise God. I'm just overjoyed. Um, because it has nothing to do with religion. I wasn't trying to get Heidi to go to church. I wasn't trying to get Heidi to join a congregation. I wasn't getting trying to get Heidi to, to become, you know, religious. I was simply telling her about Christ. And that he is the only way. <laughs> that's, that's it. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of encouraged right now. I'm, I'm kind of encouraged because, um, we don't get to see that very often. And if some of you who watch my channel remember that there was this girl I did a video on named Heidi, I was actually talking about Heidi and I felt the presence of God so strong. In fact, scroll down and I think the title of the video is an encounter at university of Washington. This would have been in 2021, I think. And anyway, I just felt the presence of God so strong that I put out that video and I thought, and I said, the thing I said in that video was that God did something in that woman's life. That's what I just said in that video. I, I, I said that. It wasn't a prophecy or anything like that, but I said, um, God, God is doing something in that woman's life. And he did. He, he did. He did. He did something that day. For eternity. Praise God. I just get in, I'm encouraged. So praise God. That's a that's a that's a great testimony. I actually got a, a video testimony of Heidi and I'm gonna put it up so that you guys can see who she is. And she's now part of the kingdom. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs>